Hi, I'm Peter Reinding, Marketing Manager for Malexis. Malexis supplies unique sensor, communication, and driver chips with analog and digital outputs, often with advanced onboard microcontrollers or DSP capabilities. Today, I'll discuss digital Hall effect sensors and the common magnetic actuation methods. I'll be introducing you to the basic types of integrated digital Hall effect sensors and demonstrating how each one works. I'll also briefly show the typical methods for switching using permanent magnets. Here are some Hall Effect Integrated Sensor digital device basics. In many situations, you don't need to know exactly how much magnetic field is present, just if it is more or less than a threshold value. For many applications, digital Hall Effect sensors are the preferred solution. Here's a block diagram of a typical digital Hall Effect sensor. In addition to bias and amplifier circuitry for the Hall Effect transducer, it also provides a threshold detector and an output driver which is typically in the form of a MOSFET or bipolar transistor switched to ground. This open drain output, or open collector in the bipolar case, provides far more interfacing flexibility. The device structure described in the figure can provide two distinct and different behaviors, depending on the magnetic field thresholds at which the device switches on and off. The first of these cases is when both the turn on threshold, BOP, and the turn off threshold, BRP, both have the same polarity. Such a device is called a Hall Effect unipolar switch, or often just a Hall Effect switch. Here I'd like to demonstrate the different types of Hall Effect sensors. A Hall Effect switch, or unipolar Hall Effect switch, turns on with the presence of a self-magnetic field presented to the branded face of the package. And it turns off when you take away the magnetic field. A Hall Effect latch will turn on when you present the south field to the branded face of the package and will remain on when you remove the south field. It will not turn off again until the north field is presented to the branded face. An omnipolar sensor will turn on with the north field and off when you remove the north field or it will turn on with the south field and off when you remove the north field an omnipolar or any magnetic field actuation. Another possibility is if the BOP point is positive and the BRP point is negative. This results in what is commonly called a Hall Effect latch. In this case, the device will turn on in response to a sufficiently large positive field, but will only turn off if a sufficiently large negative field is applied. If you simply remove the field, the device will remain in whatever state it was in, hence the name latch. One consequence of latching behavior is that to use it in an application, you must provide both north and south magnetic field polarities, the south pole to switch the device on and the north pole to switch the device off. Because of their qualitative performance differences, switch and latch type devices are generally not interchangeable in a given application without careful planning and design. Another type of digital device is the bipolar switch. In this device, the BRP value may be either positive, in which case the device behaves as a switch, or negative, in which case the device behaves as a latch. Because the device can potentially exhibit latching behavior, applications in which it is used must provide both magnet poles to ensure both turn on and turn off. A fourth type of digital Hall effect sensor is the omnipolar switch. This device normally remains in the off state in the absence of a magnetic field, but will turn on in response to either field polarity. The omnipolar switch is especially useful in proximity sensing applications where you don't want to deal with the problem of orienting a magnet. With a traditional switch application, you need to ensure the magnet has its south pole facing the sensor. This requires either identifying the magnet pole prior to assembly or by magnetizing the entire product after assembly. Using an omnipolar switch allows you to place pre-magnetized, unmarked magnets into the application regardless of which pole is actually facing the sensor. This can significantly reduce assembly costs and error rates. Some omnipolar switches are also designed to operate at very low power levels, with average supply current consumption typically running in the range of 10 microamps or less. Micropower operation, in combination with the ability to be actuated with either magnet pole, make omnipolar switches an attractive, high-reliable alternative 
to electromechanical reed switches in many applications.